these? Twins. Twins. Tell us about this because we're, we're very used to seeing this logo. Let's take a look. Right. Here. Well, Zwilling means twins, and the very sought after Henkel knife are the German made Henkel knives. Now, this is how you know these are made in Germany. You can see the mark right there of the twins. That dates back to 1731. They are a legacy of knives. They're amongst the best knives in the world. This is a seven inch Santoku knife. It is an all around purpose knife. If you're looking for that one knife that you do vegetables and meat and prepping and mincing, this this is the go-to knife here. Now, let me just go ahead and jump in and start dicing. Uh, when you touch it, when you're using a professional knife, you just touch it and it cuts it. Now, I'm going to do a few different cuts, starting off here with chopping. Now, on the blade here, you can see that there's scallops on the blade. What that does, it allows air to pass through. So when you're doing something extremely hard, like a butternut squash, you know how hard these are. And if you've used a blade and you kind of get halfway through and you got to pop it, well, this just allows it to slice through nice and easy. You see that? I literally just glide it through, one stroke through. So if you're doing a turnip or a potato or something that's really hard, again, just slice right through. It's really easy. Now, the next thing, use it as a meat knife. Again, this is that one all-around knife. This is grilling season. So, so flank steak? Flank steak or in California, carne asada. Oh, That's yes. We, <laughs> or anywhere, really. And again, just you got a beautiful knife. So you see how that just glides right through. I can just pull this straight through. You're not going to crush that. You're not going to lose that meat. I could just glide this straight through. And yeah, I mean, crazy? see, it is such a beautiful blade. When you use it, you just glide it through. It's, it's that easy. It's super sharp. My Extremely word. Extremely sharp. Now, they use a process when they make these called Fredor. And what they do is they actually cool it down to 90 degrees below zero, and that hardens the steel so that it cuts sharper, it cuts smoother, and it stays sharp longer uh, than a regular stainless steel knife. Now, see I use the tip on that. One great thing I like about this Santoku design is it has a point. So when you were just using the tip there, it glides through, uh, cuts a lot easier, Wow, this is amazing. Let me tell you also, thanks to our birthday celebration, there's some great easy pay on this. Uh -huh. But don't blink because that easy pay will go away. This easy pay only good, it's an expiring offer. Easy pay goes away end of day today. Look at this parsley. Right. You're able to make quick, quick work of this. You know, uh, Jeremy is the kind of guy that you would probably see in a restaurant kitchen with a knife probably two times this size. <laughs> That's right. Chopping great big copious amounts of herbs and all the kinds of things for the chefs to use in their uh, food preparation. That's right. Now you've got that same kind of quality in your own kitchen in a blade and a knife that is more your size and that's one thing we love. Sure. Now we should also mention Jeremy that if folks bought the Henkel's block of knives that we've offered in the past uh -huh. there is an opening in the block for this knife. Isn't that's there? right there is an opening in the block for this knife here so if you do have the block set this is going to fit inside of it. A great thing about this, like you were saying, is if you don't want to use that big 8-inch chef's knife, that French-style chef's knife, this is a little bit of a thinner blade here, so it's really nice and smooth. It's easy. It's also perfectly balanced. So when I hold it there on my finger, you can see that that's perfectly balanced, so you don't have a heavy blade or a heavy handle. So, and by the way, most of, a lot of folks, if you look in your kitchen drawer, you probably got a drawer full of dull knives. Yep. And if you've ever tried to cut a tomato with a dull knife, you can't even get through the skin. You know, you got to sort of stab it to start it like that. Well, with this, and tell you what, I'll grab a fresh tomato. I just hold this midair, and you can just glide right through. Wow. I mean, that is the precision. That's how nice and smooth that is. Isn't that great? Of course, at home, use your cutting board. Yeah. And again, I just pull it straight through. Normally, you need a serrated knife with a tomato. And this way, you have perfect total control, and there's my sliced tomato. Look at that. Isn't that great? It goes through there literally like a hot knife through <laughs> butter. That's what makes these extraordinary. What you don't want to do is wait on this. It is a beautiful knife from Hengels and seven inches, four star rocking Santoku. That rocking action allows you to get in here and chop the way I'm doing here with the onions. What Jeremy did earlier with the herbs. This is going to be so easy on your cutting board. Now those are perfect for your hot dogs from the 4th of July barbecue. Woo! I know, Leslie started twitching, she doesn't know why. All right, so, what you got over there, sir? Uh, just some ribs here, you can see, and again, this is that one all-around knife, so if you want a good knife for cutting ribs, whether it's raw meat or cooked meat, uh, you got that nice point on there, too, so you can cut around a bone if you need to. Um, again, I'm just sliding this right through, and you're not going to crush, you're not going to rip or shred that meat. It's a perfect knife. Now. 400 of these are already gone. Three easy payments will disappear end of day today, which is exactly why you want to be on the line now. If you bought the block of Hinkle's knives that we offered earlier this year and last year before Christmas, yep. there is an opening in that, uh, in that knife block for this particular knife because we knew we'd be, we would be bringing this in at some point. Yep. And then, of course, 
Who's up for some fresh guacamole? I know I am. Use Come the back on. of the knife. Try that. Use the back of that knife to score inside there. All Where's right. That? Jeremy, before we let you go, how about a pierogi or four? Oh, my gosh. I thought you'd never ask. Come with me. All right. <laughs> I'm starving. Hey, as we come over here, I do want to give everyone a quick reminder on the cookbook. We started the show with 9,000 cookbooks. I have fewer than 2,500 left to go around. Remember, this is the second.